My, 21 female, housemate, 19 female, cheats regularly on her boyfriend, 26 male. I'm a student living in the same house as three other girls, a 19 female and two 20 female. All of them pretty regularly have one night stands with boys they met in bars, clubs etc. This is annoying, since they usually bring said boys to our house with no previous notice and in the middle of the night, but whatever you know. I have a room of my own so I can stand it. What's becoming more and more unbearable is my roommate's Jane habit of cheating. She met her boyfriend almost three months ago and has been cheating on him since the beginning of the relationship, with multiple people nonetheless, and I am getting sick of it. You see, I really pity him. But he's not my friend, and I feel no hard moral obligation to tell him the truth. But she keeps bringing him over despite everything. How am I supposed to look at him in the eyes and treat him like nothing is happening? I try to keep the relationship with him at a minimum or else I'll be compelled to tell him something someday. In the meantime I tried to get Jane to break up with him. She always complains about how boring he is, how often he checks her Instagram, how she feels like she's being monitored and yet refuses to break up. She's not even subtle about the cheating. Literally everyone in the house, and a good chunk of our friends, know about it. I honestly don't know what to do. On a hand I could just keep doing nothing, but I feel guilty about covering for her. I just really want either them to break up, or to never have to do with the matter again. Any advice? Best thing you can do is let him know anonymously if that is possible? I saw someone talking about anonymously messaging him. Does she have photos of her and her boyfriend together on social media? If so, you could message him saying you are a guy who hooked up with her and found her Insta, and thought it was only right that he know. That seems like a believable situation that wouldn't make you the obvious person. Next time he's over, casually mention, Oh, I thought you guys broke up because she had someone else over last night. Stay out of it. If it's only been three months you don't even know if they have agreed to be exclusive with each other yet. Remember you still live with her. Prioritize yourself over the BF. I mean to be honest this doesn't have to be your issue let them figure it out. You don't have an obligation to their relationship. Getting yourself involved means you will have to deal with those consequences, more likely creating an even more toxic living situation. I think the issue is that your housemate Jane seems like she is constantly overstepping boundaries. Bringing random strangers to your house late at night is the bigger issue. Girl he is a grown ass man dating a teenager. It's not your responsibility to get involved in their relationship. If the issue is that you don't feel safe with her bringing these guys over, then address that. But otherwise, stay out of it. You don't owe him anything. I wore a fake wedding ring in front of my boyfriend's friends and it really upset my BF. I, 27, F, bartend, and recently I started wearing a fake wedding ring to work because I've had a problem with drunk men at my bar harassing me and the fake wedding ring somewhat helps stop that before they start. My boyfriend, 32, M, is fully aware of my fake wedding ring at work. We've been together two years and live together and though we talk about our future we don't talk about marriage yet. After work the other day I met up with my boyfriend and some of his male friends and I forgot to take off my fake wedding ring from work. The next day my boyfriend told me he was super uncomfortable with that and that it gave him anxiety because he was concerned about what to say if one of his friends asked about the ring. I told him I'm sorry but what's wrong with telling the truth and just say it's a fake wedding ring I wear at work to negate weirdos? He said sure but was pretty upset and told me not to do that again. I now feel both upset and annoyed with him but I'm unsure if it's out of line on my part and maybe I did actually fuck up by wearing the out. I'm not sure what to do or how to respond. A? Eh? Why did it make him anxious? Because he'd have to explain a really simple and easy to understand thing? I'm confused. Why does he care? Would he rather have weirdos harassing you at work? They are called idiot rings to deter idiots. I've had girlfriends who wear them and would have no issues in telling my buddies what it was for if my girlfriend had accidentally left it on. They'd think it was pretty smart and pretty funny. Your boyfriend is an idiot who cares more about what his buddies think than what you think. I think he is scared that it might have lead to comments that he should put a real ring on you so you don't have to pretend and so on. Clearly he is not ready for that and acting irrational. You did nothing wrong. He needs to get over himself and I think you should have a discussion about your future together and clear the air about expectations and what the two of you think about marriage in general. They are dumb as dirt. Everyone know women who work in bars and wait table do this. You did nothing wrong. You did find out that he doesn't want his friends thinking that you and he are going to get married though. 
If you want to get married anytime soon, this is not the guy who will want to do it with you. That's what this tells you. He said sure but was pretty upset and told me not to do that again. Dot. Why does he get to apply a conversation terminating demand here? If he knows why you wear it, he needs to get over it and tell his friends the truth. Dot. You didn't mess up at all. He's being irrational and insecure and instead of actually addressing it, he's throwing his weight around. My GF son won't let me kiss her. I've, 28M, been with my girlfriend, 25F, for a year now. She's a single mother to a five-year-old boy. She introduced me to him face to face about a month ago. Although I've been FaceTiming with him for about six months now. Anyway, I get along well with her son, we play together and he even tells me he loves me, totally on his own too. But whenever he's around he will have me play with him and that's fine but my girlfriend will just sit on the couch the whole time on her phone while I'm playing with him. Her son will make comments from time to time like he doesn't want me to take his mommy away from him. I told him and reassured him that his mom loves him more than anything in the world including me. But the comments keep coming. Every time I sit next to her he doesn't like it. If she shows me any affection he gets upset. He won't let us kiss either. And I'm not saying making out. I'm saying like a little peck on the lips as I'm leaving. He doesn't like that. Not sure what to do. I kinda wished my girlfriend would just explain to him our relationship in a better way because I'm realizing that he just thinks I'm a friend. I get it he's a little kid and it must be a lot to have someone involved with your mother. But at the same time I want to have a real relationship with my girlfriend and not have to hide it from him. Like a peck on the lips as I'm leaving should be okay. And it's not like we intentionally do it in front of him. He will actually like follow us to the door and watch to make sure. IDK I'm just not sure if I want a relationship that stays like this. Any advice? I am absolutely in love with this girl but will things get better? Or am I just seeing the tip of the iceberg? How do I approach this to my girlfriend without offending her? Any help is greatly appreciated thank you all so much. Did they spend all lockdown just the two of them? If so he's just not used to having to share his mom. He has a really deep bond with her and their house is their space. You are an intruder in his eyes and you have to earn his trust. He's just a kid, he isn't an adult and although the mom could try to explain things to him you just have to give it time. I think it's important that you all three play together. She shouldn't just be on her phone she should be actively participating so he sees there's no threat and that you can all spend time together. I don't know if parks are open where you are but you should all go play soccer or have a picnic together with no phones. Give it time. Don't force it. It's just a month in, right? Just let him get used to you being around in a non-threatening way. My girlfriend's son is six. Pretty similar situation. He doesn't stop us, but he gets jealous and he likes to be included and always wants a group hug. Maybe try that so he doesn't feel left out? I also think your girlfriend should be present while you play. It shouldn't just be you and him. I bring that up to her. Kids are weird, especially when they aren't your own. You have to be super patient and understanding but eventually they get comfortable with the idea of sharing their mom. I think you should have your own special handshake with him when you say goodbye. Then give his mom a peck. Little kids can take a while to warm up to strangers, especially strangers who are kissing their mom. It took several years for me to not feel uncomfortable with my stepdad and my mom being in a relationship and I was about five as well. The best advice I can give you is talk to her about it but also give it time. I can understand where she is coming from, and she doesn't want her son to build bonds with all these guys in the event that something doesn't work out and it breaks her son's heart. She is looking out for her and her son. Please don't take it personally, and just be patient. Give it time. If things are meant to work out, they will. Does your girlfriend do or say anything? Because she's the parent and the one who should be talking to her child. Not you. Should I report my 30 years old son's girlfriend? My son sometimes calls me to vent about his girlfriend spitting in his face, telling him he's a loser, throwing objects at him and threatening with knives, using drugs. The list goes on. He he definitely not a loser. He has always had a full-time job, takes care of her kids while she always neglects them. He came to my apartment yesterday and I noticed his front tooth is chipped. I said, who chipped your tooth? And he gave me some excuse because she was sitting in hearing shot. After he left, my 23 years old son who lives with me said that his brother told him earlier that day that she had butted him in an anger rage and chipped his tooth. My son does not do drugs. Does not drink or anything. She also cheats on him. He is having a hard time leaving her because he feels sorry for her having a bad upbringing. I don't know if my son will resent me if I report her. 
Should I do it? The concern is if you report her would he confirm what you reported if the police investigated. My guess is he would deny it because he is not ready to leave her yet. You need to focus on him and explaining that this is wrong and not love. I think you need to support him in leaving his highly abusive relationship. Encourage him to use resources for people in those situations and support him through the stigma against male domestic abuse victims. By the way, he told my younger son that his goal is to leave her on May 31st after he gets his next paycheck and has been saving money to get a place but I'm not 100% confident that he will go through with it. Crossing my fingers. Another piece of information is they have been renting this duplex for almost two years during their whole relationship it's a month-to-month -month lease and he pays monthly rent. She doesn't pay rent or anything else because she does not have a fucking job and can't keep one because of her drinking and drugs. If you have knowledge of a crime, assault, drug use, etc., regardless of your relationship to the victim, do you not feel a moral obligation to report it? I mean I have never said the words, man up. But I do tell him that it is not love and he knows exactly what love is he's been in a loving family I try to guide him in a good way and I try to talk to him in every way possible that I think is going to help him but there's nothing that I have said or done so far that has caused him to leave her. I feel so bad for my son. I realize he's a grown man and could just leave her it's so hard when you're in the inside and so easy when you're looking from the outside and I understand that and try to keep that in mind but it hurts me to see him be treated like this. Just wondering if I should report her. Why is he with her? There are so many women looking for a man like your son and he chose trash. Your son is 30, it's long past the time when you can fight his battles for him. It's a lot more important that you are his support network. Be there to listen, encourage him to let his partner know he talks to you about his problems. Abusers often hate being exposed. You may well find in time she will scurry away like a cockroach as she is aware her abuse is known to others. Your risk in reporting her is that your son may isolate himself. Sadly the only person that can get him out of an abusive relationship is himself.